A third person and the first woman is now cured of HIV. It's exciting and hopeful news for several communities, but what does that really mean for people living with HIV right now? We're bringing in UC San Diego health physician, Dr. Sheldon Morris on the floor today. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Morris. First question, what does this mean for people living with HIV right now? Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, well, for the people that have HIV, which is like over a million people in the U.S. that have uh, HIV or living with HIV, we have many millions more across the world. You know, this is uh, uh, just a hint that we're making some progress towards HIV cure. Now, when it comes to HIV, obviously, this has been a topic uh, in several communities, communities of color, in the LGBTQIA community for a long time as well. Uh, what should those folks take away from this uh, progress that we're talking about here? Okay, well, you know, there's two things that are really interesting about this, uh, this case uh, of cure in this cisgender woman is that, first off, is it's a little bit different methodology than we've seen before. It's a very unique case, though. It's people that have HIV, develop a, a cancer that needs a bone marrow transplant, and they get a transplant uh, with uh, a, a replacement bone marrow or, or stem cells that don't have the receptor for the HIV to attach to. So therefore, they're, 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 they're essentially cured once that bone marrow takes over. But it's not a simple process that everyone can get because this takes a lot. And in fact, it's happened to a number of people and they just don't even survive their cancer. So it's only really that unique group. And, and there'll be other types of cure approaches to different people uh, So in the, in the future. And that's what we're working on. And like at, at you know, UCSD, we have the Antiviral Research Center where, that I'm affiliated with, that where we're working on, on different types of cure strategies. The second thing that's quite interesting is that, you know, this is a, a mixed race, cisgender woman, and that really speaks to the uh, sort of equity uh, of treatment and prevention for HIV across uh, gender, sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, and age. Those are all things that we're really committed to. And, and so it's, a, it's, it's refreshing to see that that is also happening at this cure level. Sure. Dr. Morris, of course, as I mentioned and as you're talking about, we've been looking at HIV for a long time. And in this case, we're using the buzzword curing HIV. But what does that uh, really mean in this instance where we are right now? Well, it, 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 it does probably mean that they no longer are infected because in all that we have many ways to try and detect HIV in very mic you know, microscopic amounts within the cells that it harbors. The problem with HIV is that HIV hides in cells in our body, even when they're on full antiretroviral therapy, which suppresses the virus and people have very normal uh, life expectancies with oral antiretroviral therapy, but they have to take it for their life. So uh, the, the issue is that we, can, we need to be able to find those cells that are, that where the HIV is hiding and be able to detect them. So we need to find different mechanisms to get to those cells and get rid of them. So in this case, you know, when they've had all of the, the cells, what it does tell us is that if you get rid of the blood containing cells or the blood, the cells that, that uh, generate the blood, uh, that seems to take the HIV with it. So when you replace it, uh, that seems to, that's a good thing. I mean, that means that there, that there is some um, compartment that we can target uh, with our uh, therapeutic approaches. All right, Dr. Morris delving into the progress and news of a cure to HIV here, just getting to the surface of it. We've got a lot more to talk about, and for that, we will go uh, to our website, and you can obviously read our stories on that. Dr. Morris, thank you for joining us here on The Four today. Yeah, have a great day.